Hey everyone, so I'm starting a journey today. So I am about to join what's called the Offers Dyke Trail. I've been really inspired over lockdown watching lots of YouTube videos by people like Summit and Beyond, Dave Outdoors, Impala on Trail. Loads of really cool people out there that are creating really cool videos about backpacking, wild camping, ultra like through hiking. And I wanted to get a taste of it. I felt like there's a lot that I could learn there's someone that goes out walking a fair bit myself, also as a mountain leader. I want to get out and just see what I can learn. I have to say, I haven't done loads of expedition type stuff myself, like not solely supported and like without a car somewhere that I could like have some supplies somewhere. So this is going to be two days of walking from my house, which is in Wrexham, over along Offers Dyke towards Prostatin, so around 35-ish miles. Let's see how we go. So I'm now on the Offers Dyke path, which is really exciting, but at the same time, I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't really, I don't really know this route. So I knew the point to get to here, but now it's just gonna be a case of see if I can find all those trail markers uh, to lead the way. Though I have got a bit of a map, it's a bit of a faff to try and get to. So I just wanna try and get as much mileage behind me, hopefully without faffing around too much. So yeah, fingers crossed that I can spot all those trail markers. Wandered off the path slightly, and I say slightly, as in the path is just on the other side of that fence. And you can see the reason why I'm avoiding it. So those of you that know me, uh, yeah, cows are not my friends. Uh, they just scare me. <laughs> they just scare me. So you can see, like, if, when I was coming over, I could see that the cows were just chasing the sheep that were in that same field, like galloping around. I was like. And you can see them start to look at me and it's like, mm, no thanks. So <laughs> I've just hopped over the fence. There's a, a gate over to one side. And yeah, I'm just hoping that the field doesn't actually connect with that one. Or the cows start following me because that is not something I want to deal with. I've crossed four cow fields already today. I had one standoff with a cow already. I don't want any more. I'm sure it's just like, it's just part of hiking life, I, I guess. But yeah, it's not a part of the life that I'm enjoying. Yeah, move on. Ha, told you. So just had the steepest ascent so far. I don't know if there's any more, but you can see just down there, we had to come up this hill. Oh, that was a slog. And now let's head over in this direction. But as you can see, I'm not too keen on whatever that is looking like. That looks like rain to me. So like I say, I haven't done much of this type of hiking before, but it's really cool to now be able to see Mole Vamai, which is just behind me. And that's kind of where I had my like my marker of where I wanted to get to for the day. 
as to whether I'll go any further beyond that, I'll have to see how I feel and what opportunities present themselves. But really cool to be able to see it now. <laughs> Big tip. So, just behind me, you can just see the Mole Bamai or the Jubilee Tower. So, that was like the goal for the day. And now it's just head back down, keep following the trail. And yeah, see where I end up. Sorry, I'm blinking a lot. I think I've got like, it's either a lot of sweat in my eye or like sun cream, which I put on earlier. If you're surprised putting on sun cream, but like, there's definitely a point today where, although it was really cloudy, yeah, you definitely needed it. I did not want to end up getting burnt. It's starting to get windy now and getting cold as well. So starting to try and find a place to pitch up for the night. Clearly people have been here before. Not a fan of the whole ground fire thing, especially on moorland. Not a good idea. But it does show that people have been up here, but just at the moment, it's just that bit too windy for me to feel confident in, yeah, setting up for a decent, nice sleep. So it's now a case of just keeping our eyes open. I mean, I don't have to worry too much. I've got the food, <laughs> I've got a shelter, so it's fine. So I can push on ahead. Energy wise, well, I've had a few jelly babies now, so I can do anything. <laughs> So as I'm sure you can tell, I've set up for the night. So I've managed to find a place in the middle of some woodlands. It's a little bit closer to the road than I would have liked, but it'll do for now. As long as I pack up really early, I'm sure it won't be a problem. It's really discreet. Uh, but as part of that, that's why I'm using this red light. So it probably looks a little bit creepy. I apologize for that. It's not my intention, but I don't want to light up this tent like a giant beacon. That being said, should all be good. I've had some food, had some water, and yeah, it's ready to go. So early start tomorrow, all being well. Hopefully we'll be at Prostatin at the end of the route by late afternoon. Fingers crossed, all being well. Other than that, I wish you a good night. Peace. <laughs> slept okay last night. Uh, I slept on a bit of a hill, uh, but looking around now there wasn't loads of choice for like a flat area especially a flat grassy area you can see there's just like loads of branches <laughs> everywhere super glad that i had uh, this so this is actually just my uh, survival bag that i've just had in my bag forever and yeah so glad i had it so i could use it as a ground sheet instead and yeah, I think that's made a big difference and certainly gave me peace of mind last night that I wasn't just wrecking the bottom of the tent. So yeah, all good. Time to pack up now and then hit the trail. So this bit of grass here was where it was pitched last night. Nothing left there, so leave no trace. Now it's time to hit the trail.
just came over the first hill, so Mole Arthur, and already, just over there, I can just about make out the coastline as well. And that's where I'm heading today. Ah, oh, it feels so good to be able to see it already. So, big morale boost straight away for the day. Now, it's just about getting there. taken forever to walk down this path at the moment and not because I'm tired or aching but just because I keep finding blackberries and just can't stop eating them. <laughs> right. And it's certainly helping for the whole breakfast thing because I had like a a breakfast bar or a brunch bar and yeah as lovely as that is what? was it as lovely that, as that is it's just not as filling as I wanted. That coastline's getting a lot closer now. Sun cream is on, just crossing the A55, the expressway that leads to North Wales, Snowdonia. That is a good sign because I've got a rough idea of where I am. And now it's just straight on down, flat out from here to the coast. That was me thinking that it was going to start getting flatter. <laughs> Arthur's dyke just starts kicking it back again. and bring back the classic reverse baseball cap look. Oh yeah. Sun cream is on though and I am very thankful to be in this bit of shade. Uh, hopefully I haven't sweated all that sun cream off. Uh, my, eyes, my eyes have only stung a little bit so far <laughs> from it. So, so far so good. I've wondered for a while if I have hay fever. I think, <laughs> I think I can say confident now that I have got hay fever. I just walked through a field of grass, my eyes are burning. I can barely see out one eye. <laughs> it's horrendous. Oh wow, this is something else. Okay, just gotta <laughs> keep one foot in front of the other now and try and get out of here as quick as I can. Cause it is horrendous. Come on, time to finish this walk.
just there. That's all it is now. You see them? This is it. So I made it to what 35-ish miles over from Thangochlan over to Prostatin. It feels good to be here. It feels very good. That coastline has been taunting me for so long. I could see it in the distance. I can't really see where I started. I could see some of the bits where I started earlier on today, but beyond that, cannot see the horizon line of where I came. Really happy that I got here. And now ready for some rest, relaxation to get home, get some food in a bit.